The old school MMA was notorious for potentially having some fixed fights. I just want to ask you, did you ever know of any fixed fights or train with somebody that was in a fixed fight, something like that? There were a card X1 I fought on in Japan and it was, uh, there was two fixed fights and they had to do with um, guys who were Japanese guys who were involved with the, uh, it's like New Japan Pro Wrestling, I believe. And our guy Christian Wells fought this uh, heavyweight pro wrestler and this other guy, I can't remember his name. I think he went by the name of Golden Boy or something. But he fought this 16-year-old kid who's a karate, Kyokushin karate kid. And he was, like, famous for, like, kicking bats. <laughs> he was, like, one of the first person I ever saw kick bats to break their bat, break a bat. Yeah. And um, the kid fought that guy. And I, I don't know if the kid, anybody told the kid that it was a fixed fight or if it was a work. And... um. Like the, he hit the kid, he hit the guy and the guy went down and the kid jumped on him anyways and kept beating the crap out of him yeah. and it not, knocked him out for real. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the heavyweight Christian, um, the, the heavyweight, the guy he, he fought was so afraid of what was happening. Like Christian had to carry him through the fight. He had to like grab his hand and wrap his hand around his throat to, um, to have him whatever choke him for the guillotine. Like, so they made it so that the pro wrestler won, I'd imagine. Yes, right? yes. Both yeah, the Japanese guys won. Yeah. Yeah. So was there, did you know of like, because sometimes when you hear about fixing fights, you hear about like mob stories and money. Is that why they fix fights or do they just want entertainment? Uh, some, of, some of the fights, some of the things I hear uh, are something like that. I mean, Coleman told me a story about a fight being a work that he was in. And that was a, that was a pride fight. And Yakuza was entrenched with a lot of the stuff that was going on there. So there's a good chance that um, they were involved. But I think the promoters today are really good at, at hiding their fixed fights. I think they leverage fights. Okay, They know, you know, um, on a lot of occasions, which guy's going to win a fight ahead of time. And they set fights up to make sure that their guy wins. I think that's just as fixed as paying somebody to lose. Uh, it's just harder to catch them doing it. 